It was a show of support from his youngest fans. Thousands of Palestinian children were brought to Yasser Arafat's headquarters in Ramallah, where he's been under virtual house arrest for weeks. Israel has kept him confined to his compound. It holds him personally responsible for the wave of suicide bombings that's helped to plunge the peace process into complete disarray. A furious Israel has carried out a series of retaliatory attacks on Palestinian Authority buildings, and over the weekend there were calls for even harsher strikes. But a defiant Arafat said he wasn't rattled by Israel's latest threat. <laughs> I'm waiting for them, he declared. Our people will not surrender to such threats. We don't care about tanks or jet. Nothing scares us. The chief Palestinian negotiator claimed the latest statement showed that Israel was ultimately intent on destroying the Palestinians. We really now believe that the United States administration, the European Union, must understand that if the Israeli government announces such plans of escalation, and saying that nobody is immune, including President Arafat, uh, it's very clear cut reflection that this government has the intention to take it to the limits of destruction. The ever tightening restrictions on Palestinians affects everyone. The Legislative Council had to hold its meeting by video conference in order to allow the members who were stranded in Gaza to take part.